coming back and checking out another one of my haul videos. This is US Agent 27 from the MUCollectorClub.com forums. Um, today I got quite a bit in, so I'm gonna you know kind of show everything off and let you know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I just want to tell you guys if uh, I'm getting a lot of positive feedback about the channel. Um, I've actually I saw this today someone posted in our new members area that they subscribed to the channel and then they went and checked out MUCollectorClub.com. If you guys haven't checked it out, make sure you guys are going to uh, to, to, uh, to go check it out. Excuse me, sorry, I'm tongue tied today. But uh, we have a lot going on. Um, we post about toys all day, all day long. You usually find somebody on that wants to talk and you know just shoot the shit and uh, post up some pictures and whatnot. So speaking of the forums, um, we had one of our members, Big Hank, who. Uh, in his area, I guess a lady was selling off her Marvel Legends collection from my understanding or maybe her ex-boyfriend's Marvel Legends collection. I don't know. But uh, they had some really great prices. So what Hank did is he grabbed a list and anything, you know, he, he had first dibs, of course, about anything he didn't want. He opened it up to our community. So, and the list had a ton on it. Um, so what we all did is we all just, you know, basically posted and said, hey, we want this, we want this, we want this. And then we sent him the cash and he sent us the fix. So it worked out very well. So the first figure I got from him is Iceman, which I needed for my X-Men display. And yes, he does come with the uh, Sentinel Ice display stand. So I thought that was really cool. Um, Iceman, 15 bucks. Can't beat that. So that was one figure I got. Next figure up, and this was actually a trade that we had done um, because he had needed one of, um, I had an extra Fantastic Four Johnny Storm figure. So we did it, we worked out a trade a little while ago and we finally got around to sending each other everything. But the figure that he sent me was Baron Zemo. Let the camera focus. There it goes. Really cool fig. I'm not a big fan of this costume. This is, it looks like the original Baron Zemo is what they were kind of going for. I would have much preferred a newer version. But you know what? Overall, it's not bad. Um, I may actually take this one apart and try to customize it myself. I haven't really decided. Uh, we have a lot of customizers on our website as well, mucollectorclub.com, uh, where you could, you know, so maybe someone on there will want to do that for me and, you know, help me out. Okay, that's another figure. And then the other next figure he sent was a another Hydra Soldier, which if you guys have been keeping track, I had that massive Hydra Soldier haul not too long ago and I, had, I think I got five in that haul so this makes my eighth Hydra soldier um, and actually we just did another trade for another one so I'll have nine total coming or nine in total once the other one gets here so um, I'm trying to try to get up to a dozen I figure a dozen is a good place to stop so I need three more and then I'll be done I think he's got an extra one besides the one I'm trading for so I'll probably grab that one too um, so that would put me at ten so I'll just need two more and I'll be done but these guys, I mean, they're not the most articulated figures, but what really works well with them is if you get them all in a group, they're impressive. They're impressive looking when you get like, you know, 10 of them surrounding like Nick Fury or Captain America. They look awesome. Uh, great for pictures. So definitely if you haven't checked out some Hydra soldiers, go get yourself one or two, you know. I would, you need at least two or three. Um, at least two. You know, one, it just doesn't cut. It doesn't look as good. You know, you need two to be impressive. You know, try to get like the, uh, grinning variant or the screaming variant and then the angry face like this one here all right hydra soldier next thing up he sent was the daredevil face-off kingpin pack as you can see kingpin's really really huge so now i have a kingpin to put in my uh spider-man death scene um which i totally copied from book nice 10 sorry book but you know it was awesome and i decided to use it so and I've posted pictures of that up in the uh, six inch forums as well. So he came complete. I got the little pimp stick thing, which I'm not really sure if I'm displaying with this or not. I'm, I'm not really, I wish it was bigger or, or longer. Yeah, I know, make your jokes guys. So I got Kingpin, very cool fig. Um, definitely a must, a must have if you have a, a Spider-Man or Daredevil or Punisher or any kind of display like that. He's, he's a Kingpin, come on, you gotta have him. And they've never released him singly on a card or anything like that. So the only way to get him was with that face-off pack. Face-off pack was pretty cool. Um, so with the face-off pack, the other figure I got was 
Daredevil. Back up the game. And I actually like the face off Daredevil. I know some people don't like it because they don't like the way he's, uh, his shoulders are. I dig it. I have one little slight issue with mine, and it's nobody's fault. I'm sure it came out of the package this way, but this uh, left arm, left shoulder joint is stuck. Like, watch. This one goes up, no problem, like it's supposed to. It's a shoulder joint, so you can kind of get in some really funky positions, you know, really articulated. This one will go up, but this joint does not move. So. I tried taking a, a hair dryer to it and trying to, you know, loosen up the joint a little bit. It didn't really work. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to, you know, crack the abdomen and take them all the way apart and, you know, reset the joints. Don't really want to do that, so I'm probably not, go not going to at this point. Um, if it ever becomes a real big issue, I'll just, you know, I'll go ahead and do that or I'll send it to somebody let them do it because I don't really want to mess with it. But overall, I like the figure. He also came with his nunchucks, so those are cool. Um, I'm torn between this Daredevil and the Nemesis Wave Daredevil, which I've heard is also really good, so I may pick that one up and maybe sell this one. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, finally I have a Daredevil in my collection. I didn't have one before, so that's kind of cool. Alright, and then the last thing I got today was uh, a bunch of us, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, Hasbro Toy Shop. <sighs> I gotta love them. Um, this is also an update on what happened with them. So Hasbro Toy Shop, as you guys know, I ordered the Red Deadpool, uh, which was shown on their website. It showed a Red Deadpool, not the X-Force Deadpool. And what they sent was two of these. Two of the X-Force Deadpools. So I called them yesterday and you know, basically said, hey, there must be some confusion. And they, they basically said, nope, that's all we have. And they basically refunded my money and they told me I could keep the figures. So that was fine. I was totally cool with that. Um, you know, I already traded one of the figures for another Hydra soldier, so that works out well. He's actually already on his way to his new owner. I've got another one for, I'm probably gonna leave it man on card or unless someone absolutely really needs it. Um, let's put Daredevil up so he, you guys have something to look at besides me just jibber jabbering. So that was, you know, basically the deal with that. So shortly after they did that, I ordered what I thought were two Baghead Spider-Men um, from the Marvel Universe line, the newest wave. It's the variant. They've been very hard to find. The first couple that popped up on eBay were like astronomical in price. People were scalping them like crazy. Um, it was just insane. So when they popped up on Hasbro Toy Shop, I, I you know, figured, what the hell, I'll order them. If I don't get them, you know, I don't get them. No big deal. Well, they came in today. And I was fully expecting him to call Hasbro tonight and, you know, get my money back again. But they did send two Baghead Spider-Man. So that was pretty cool. I was totally stoked when I got the package with the two Baghead Spider-Mans. Now, before you guys ask, um, one of them is already spoken for when I ordered it. Um, Jaybird on our, on our forum shot me a text real quick. He's like, hey, bro, I missed it. Did you happen to order an extra one? I'm like, yep, I got one. So if, if it's a Baghead, it's yours. So I'm going to work out a deal with him. He'll probably pay me for what I paid for it plus shipping. And I'll get those shipped out to him right away. So, and that's really what our forum is all about. You know, I know I keep harping on that. I keep saying it. But I really want to kind of drive that point home. We are a, like a family basically, a, a community. Um, it, it, it's unlike any other forum or any other website you've participated with. I mean, you know, there are people all across the country, all across the world, really, that are coming together and they're, you know, they're helping each other out, whether it be giving ideas for how to do a custom or say, hey, you know, I can't find this in my area. If you see an extra one, can you pick it up for me? That stuff happens day in and day out. Um, we have a member of ours, uh, Attila, who's from the Philippines, who basically went out of his way and he, you know, more or less put together a deal. So we all, so about, I think, 10 of us ended up with a red hulk build a figure um from the philippines at a really really great price i mean and by price i'm talking peanuts compared to what it goes for on ebay and you know he didn't have to do that but he you know wanted to help out and that's what our community is all about um you know that was part of the reason why i got the professor x yesterday and i already sent that out to lord marvel he's going to get that on thursday you know and that's just what we're what we're what we're doing so anyway, uh, I'm going to step off my soapbox. I thank you guys for listening and for, you know, hanging in there. And uh, come check us out on the forums, mucollectorclub.com. All right, see you guys around.